The flow of our genetic information is a one-way street. We move from DNA to RNA, and then RNA to protein. And within our human cells, we're unable to reverse this direction. Now we can take advantage of this technology for new vaccines, such as that for SARS-CoV-2, because they utilize mRNA. And that's when mRNA is going to merge in on this one-way street, only allowing it to make protein, not turn around and interact or make any DNA. Now, secondly, the molecules of DNA and RNA are inherently different. DNA is double-stranded. It's composed of four different nucleotides or chemicals that are abbreviated A, T, G, and C. It's also composed of a backbone sugar that's known as deoxyribose. But RNA, on the other hand, is single-stranded. It's also composed of four different nucleotides or chemicals, but these are abbreviated A, U, G, and C. And its sugar backbone is known as ribose. Now lastly, these two molecules are located in different parts of our cells. DNA is housed in our nucleus, which protects it. Now the nucleus you can think of as a capital of the cell. RNA is located in the cytoplasm, which is the region between the cell membrane and other membranes of different organelles. Now the mRNA vaccine will allow it to be delivered specifically to the cytoplasm, where it's then going to be turned into protein. However, that mRNA is not going to be able to cross the membrane of our nucleus. Therefore, the mRNA vaccine will have no effect and no interaction with our DNA.